Okay, so first thing we want to do is grab some feed for the new penny. So while I was here to grab some feed, I thought I'd have a look around because this is my local tax store to where I'm living at the moment. And there's loads of cool stuff here because most of it's secondhand. So it's a really good bargain as well. So I thought I'd have a look for some cheap alternatives before we start looking at the pricey stuff. So we're here to pick up the feed. It's quite early in the morning. Um, but they've also got a huge section of like saddle pads and stuff and like head collars. So I might have a look around and see. Yeah, there were a couple of nice things which I saw, but um, the shop was kind of, the guy was there, then he walked in and then I got distracted buying horse feed. And so I kind of forgot about it. So we might come back at some point and then go through. Cause it's kind of like, I don't know, like it's all secondhand stuff. So it's good to reuse and recycle. Um, but we're gonna head up to where Thunder, Maria and Tiny live. And then we're gonna go through so like some of the brushes and some of the rugs cause there are extra rugs up there to see if any of them fit them. Um, we'll, we'll fit New Horsey, um, New Horse Sammy. I think we're gonna keep his name that. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, we're just basically see if there's anything we can reuse because it's a lot cheaper. And then tomorrow we're gonna go to Equitogs on the way there because it's literally like five minutes away from where we're picking him up. Grab anything that we don't have from there. And then we're gonna pick up the horse, which is very exciting. I might do a whole like different vlog of just picking him up, which I think will come out before this, but I don't know, I'm just excited. It's been like six months or whatever. So, oh, this is a weird angle, but a um, pair of rugs behind me, which are Thunder and Maria's. The trunk over there, and the trunk here, there's three trunks. So, I've just been going through all of them, and we don't actually have any rugs in 6'6, which is Sammy's size. So, we might have done a little bit of a shopping spree, and then, yeah, you can actually have some rugs because I feel like you'd get a little bit chilly if you didn't have any rugs. I'm now going to go through the tuck room and. I'm tired. So we're here in the tap room and the things that I'm going to be going through and looking for are saddle pads because we love those. Uh, I need boots because we've got quite a few of those and I might steal the treats that are here. So they're just three things and anything else I can find which the ponies here don't need because I mean Thunder's sort of being ridden but it's not really like he's competing anywhere so he doesn't need all the fancy stuff. Right, we've got some spare brushes and things. So just save a little bit of money and then we can take that and Sammy can use it because I'm so excited, sorry. I'm just gonna go through all. These are the shelf saddle pads, they're not all mine, like the Lickit ones, my sister. I'm not sponsored, but I just had a little go through them. So these are the saddle pads which I'm gonna take with me, Sammy. One of them is an FQ one, which I don't know if it's Catherine or Alex won it at Pine for Quiz, but it seems quite big and it's got a little bit of sheepskin on it. And I feel like it'd be quite a good everyday pad and I feel like it would work with either a JP or a dress eye shadow because I don't know which saddle I'm going to get yet. He comes with nothing. Um, and then I will hide this one because then uh, we'll be going in one of the poly pads ones which I don't choose one of these if you go attacking again because they are very squishy and just lovely. Well, I would rather not get killed on the road. And also we've got this Pivis stuff here, Thunder, which is his size. Well, something I don't know if we've got anything for him yet. so. We've got this then hopefully we won't die it was as well i did have a look through our big box to see if there's anything that would fit him and unfortunately all of them here have really small legs and so i don't think they would actually protect him because they would just be too small and i was thinking about bandages but i was like mm, i don't think i would really ride in bandages that much because it's a bit of a faff like those are good but like when i had friday i only rode bandages once because i was like mm, it's a bit a bit of a faff um but we've got a little grooming kit with all spreads and it's kind of thunders so we can hit them home make them a bit bit clean and then that's it say goodbye to the ponies and then we can head over to where Catherine is and have a look through some of her stuff and see where all Sammy's things can go and get really organized and i'm so excited but before i can leave i gotta play the treat tags where are you on the treats a little bit of an awkward angle i've dropped them i found one on the floor there you go there you go thunder have a good day <laughs> So I thought I'd take this time to tell you a little bit more about Sammy because, uh, yeah, I'm really excited. If you didn't know, so would Fred in like the end of November, no, end of, end of October, not end of November. And ever since then, I've been looking at horses um, and it's just been a little bit of a minefield. I wish everyone luck who is looking for horses at the moment because two third vettings, there were two potential loans that went south and a couple which were just not horses for me. He is a five-year-old Irish sport horse and he's been trained at the moment for kind of show jumping. He's been at a show jump yard and we're going to try and get him to be a little bit more of a dressage horse and we'll see how it goes. But I'm just heading towards Catherine's yard so that we can get 
things sorted over there because that's where he is going to go. And since Kat and Judd, it's the other she's got pig. And so they can be little weirdos together because Sammy, I love him already. He's not, he's not here yet, but I love him already. And I feel like he's going to be a little bit funky, a little bit weird. Like apparently he does this thing where with like the bars and stable, he'll put his nose through it and wait for a long kiss, which I think is the cutest thing. So they can be little weirdos together. So one of the most important things I had to do was get Sammy's bed ready because he didn't want to be sleeping on the concrete. Um, so I think we ended up putting about four bales of shavings in. But I could be wrong there. And I just made sure they were nice and flat and fluffy. And look how, look how well I'm trying to do this. Catherine came in also to help because she'd finished doing hay bags. So there we were putting it in together. I think she came across another one. And yeah, just got it nice and flat for the king. I hope he appreciated it because I worked really hard to make sure it was perfect for him. We have a stable and a Catherine. Get out. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that's not very nice. It's not your stable. We got, we got some hay. <laughs> we got a bed. We don't have water yet. We've got a broom instead. It's very exciting. Okay, I've got my little rug from White Chocolate Kitty. I'm just waiting here while my sister reverses because she's here. Um, we're going to go home and we're going to look through some saddles and a saddle pad and stuff that I've got at home so we can see what else we've got to give him. The stables are done, as you saw. I was a little bit too excited and talked to my sister about stuff to fix some vlogging and then you know what was going on. But for getting there, stables are done and we've sorted out where rugs are going, where bridles are going, which we don't have yet. We're buying that tomorrow. But... I'm so excited! I feel like I've said that a lot, but honestly, it's literally been a whirlwind. Okay, so since we didn't have any luck at the horses looking for rugs, we're now in the garage looking through more rugs because Phoebe, who used to be my sister's horse, um, she was quite a big horse, like Samuel, so we'll see if any of the rugs are. We're not quite sure if she was 6'6 six, six or 6'9, six, and Sammy's 6'6, six, six, so hopefully we can find something so we actually have some success now i have oh, it's quite big it's a 450 gram but it's a turn out rug and it is in 6.6 six, so that's good um i don't know if he'll ever use it though because it's becoming into summer now so maybe in the winter and i did find a sheet it is in 6.3 though so we'll see if it fits because i'm not entirely sure but at least he's got two rugs so that's a bonus. We might have to buy one on the way to get them though. So as I said, we're stuck in for Equitogs. So we'll be able to, you know, grab anything that we don't have, like a head collar, because we don't have one. So I don't know how we'd get them on the lorry without that. Did a bit more digging and we found a couple more rugs. So Sammy's gonna be fully clothed and a happy little boy. We've that's just <laughs> anywhere, probably you'd like. Um, we've just it's arrived so at there it is. We're gonna grab some stuff for pony. Yeah. I've never been here before. This one or? Lots of hanging cheek. No. Like this. You're bigger. Like the, no, no, that's not right behind. Oh, one of these. Ah. <laughs> that's too big though. Oh. Is it? No, that's right. Yeah. Like I said in my last video, I've never actually bought anything from Equidogs Dogs before, so it was a lovely experience and everyone was really kind and helpful. But honestly, this store is gorgeous and I've never seen anything like it before. Okay, we've got everything back on the road. Let's get a pony. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so it's been like months since Sammy arrived and he's out in the field at the moment. But I thought I'd show you some of the rugs that I've got for him. So the stable rug that he's in at the moment is this one. So it's like a horseware island. It's got moisture wicking and it's just a sheet really. There's nothing super special about it. He's just got like a little turnout rug there. But he's got one that he's wearing in the field and we'll see that in a second. Okay, so this is the bridle, which I'm riding at the moment. I think you saw me shopping for his bit. So I can't remember what brand this is. It's a brand um, and it's just like a rubber straight bar with D-rings. And then we've got this little nice anatomical bridle from Shukamala, which I really, I just like their bridles. And I wanted to give him a nice little thing that 
It'll be, I don't know, just be nice on him. Really squidgy as well. So that's how I've got it. I don't know, I just think it looks quite cool. And then this is the saddle, which I'm currently riding in. Uh, these stirrups are from Fred Stressor Saddle. And yeah, it's a D8, an HDR, it's a little French saddle. And it's what my sister used on her three star event horse, which you probably know Maria. So this has been to some very cool places. It's just like a saddle at the moment because it, it fits. It doesn't not fit, but um, I'd quite like to get like a dresser saddle and one that actually fits us both properly. Also, it's brown, so it doesn't really match the black. We've also got some saddle pads. So as you know, this one is from Fred's and we got this, is this a, I don't know if this is Catherine's blueberry or my blueberry one because they both look the same. They're the same colour and no one can tell me otherwise. When finally um, I do get dresser saddle, we've got little blue bow one in the wall so um we're very very blue very purple but you know they're quite quite fun colors and then beat wise at the moment we've just got two back boots which are actually his um he was using percy's but percy's not here anymore so we've got these two blue ones which are back ones and they're really nice they've got like airflow technology or whatever i don't know if you can see him he's oh there, there he is there's the man you can see him in the trees um i think this is the blue bow one See, they're the same colour. They are the same. But I think that's I think that's mostly everything. Um, we do have some hay as well and some feeds, but there wasn't really I think that's that's kind of it. Okay, so here is Sammy in the field behind me. Oh you going across say hello. No? Oh hello, you're beautiful, aren't you? So I'd leave him in the field rather than invading his person now. <laughs> Personality is personal space. But yeah, his rug's really cool. You gonna go off? Do the munching? You gonna do the munching? Oh, what have you spotted? There's loads of deer around here, so it might be that. But yeah, he's got some hay in his field. He's very cute. I love him so much. He's definitely, definitely was worth the wait. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching today's video. And hopefully I should be putting some more stuff up. But the reason I haven't been putting things up is because it's been one thing after another um work's been really busy and then and then thunder got put down and it's just been it's just kind of been one of those months so i had to put youtube on the back burner but i'm really hoping to get it up and running again and oh sorry i just zapped myself on the fence and yeah i'm hoping to get it up and running because there's some fun things that i hope they're gonna come and i want you guys to all be able to appreciate Sammy as much as I love him and get to know him as much as I've got to know him over the past month. So yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share to anyone and everyone and I'll see you in the next one. Wild, love you wild. Can you see your stars wide, I got a style. Baby,